Hello, I'm Patrick Clem, a clinical pharmacy specialist with UC Health. In this video, we'll walk you through Sirolimus and Ebolimus, two immunosuppressant drugs that play a role in transplant. One of the biggest concerns post-transplant is the body rejecting the transplanted organ. Rejection is caused by the body's immune system. To prevent this, you will need to take, for the rest of your life, multiple medications that inhibit your immune system. Sirolimus and Everolimus may be some of those medications. Sirolimus and Everolimus work by preventing your body from making immune cells. These immune cells are a type of white blood cell that can cause rejection. Some side effects of immunosuppressant medications include increased risk for infection and increased risk for certain cancers. Possible side effects of Sirolimus and Everolimus include increased triglycerides, or fats, in the blood, edema, low blood count, mouth ulcers, slow wound healing, low potassium, and increased risk of spilling protein in your urine. Sirolimus and Everolimus can interact with other medications, so you need to make sure your transplant team is aware of all medications, including prescription and over-the-counter. They may also interact with grapefruit and grapefruit-containing products, CBD, and THC, so it's best to avoid these products. In closing, please remember that taking your medications correctly and consistently is one of the most important things you can do to help prevent rejection. As always, we're here to answer any questions you may have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.